guys, it's Jen from iCreate Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step-by-step -step how to create these customizable makeup bags. I will leave all of the supplies I used listed below in the description box. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up if you love this video. Now let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm starting in Design Space and I wanted to show you this. I purchased all of these from Design Bundles. And when Design Bundles has their dollar deals, I always tell you guys, I bought this, all of these designs, for 90 cents on Design Bundles a while back. Um, I was just going to actually purchase some on Etsy and they have the same exact images there, probably the same person selling it. It was nine dollars okay so i got a really great deal on this so when i give you those deals for uh the dollar deals for design bundles please please think about it go in there stock up get some really great deals so that's where i got all these from so if you're interested in this i'll leave the link below i'm not exactly sure how much it is full price for these because i did buy these a while ago and i just re-downloaded them onto design space so these are the ones that I'm going to be using. I really love these. I think they're so cute. Um, and I'm going to be putting them on some bags. And I'm going to show you really quick. So I just bought these bags. There's 15 of these cotton canvas bags. I really love these. I've used these before. I'm using HTV heat transfer vinyl on this. But you can see here, it tells you the size. It's 8.3 by 4.7. So when you're going to go in design space, you want to do it about an 8 by 4 or even an 8 by 4.5. So I'm going to go back in design space and just do a little bit of tweaking on these and then uh, I'll show you how to put them onto your bags. So the first thing you want to do is select it and then go up to the unlock box and change it to be 8 by 4 like that. So depending on how big your um, makeup bag is is how big you want to do it. I don't want to go any bigger than this. I actually could just shrink it down a little bit that it's not that big but I really like how this looks and you can see on the side here that if I was to cut it out right now the way it is every single piece would cut out individually so it's not going to cut out the way it looks so I always go to the attach button no matter what that's what I do so this one is finished I really like this one this one's pretty cute too so I'm going to do the same thing just go to the unlock box and then change it to be an 8 by 4 oh my gosh I really love these these are so cute I actually may make a few of these for uh, the dollar store ones as well. So I'm gonna move this one over. Actually, you know what, I almost forgot. I'm gonna weld it. So I'm gonna move this one down. That one is done as well. Um, let's see, I like this one too. So again, unlock it, eight by four. This is gonna be a really quick and easy, whoops. Really quick and easy video tutorial. Uh, I thought this was really cute. I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. I'm going to be welding this one together, and then that is done. So if you want to go ahead and change the color before you weld it, um, that's the only time you can. Now that I welded it, I cannot do anything else. So please make sure that if you want to change the color, you do it before you hit that weld button. But I'm going to leave these few that I already did uh, black already. So I'm going to take this one. I think it's kind of cute. Go to the unlock box, and then change it to be the 8x4. Or like I said, whatever size your purse or your little wallet is that you're going to be cutting out it for. Um, yeah, I really like these in black. I think that's going to look good with the white canvases. So it's going to look like this. These are the canvases. And I think putting the black on it is going to make it look really good. So it, here you can see it has a pencil case, cosmetic bag. Ooh, cash envelope. I like that too. But again, just wanted to show you guys... It's going to look pretty good on black with the white. So I'm going to move this one. And let's see, I'm going to do this one next because I'm going to show you with it being uh, different colors, you, there's something different here. So again, go to the unlock box, change it to be whatever size you have. And now I can look on the side here. So these pieces are going to cut out individually. I don't want that. I want all the black to be the same. So I think the hearts are ready together. But we'll see. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to hit the ungroup button. Yep, the hearts in the bottom part are together. That's exactly what I do. But I'm going to click attach just in case. And then now you can see that these parts are different. The E and then the SS and then essentials <laughs> um, are separate. So I'm going to select all of this and now I'm going to hit the weld button. 
because now all of these are together. And this one is already resized. It doesn't matter where I put it because when I cut it out, the pink is going to cut out separately from the black. I hope that makes sense. So that one is finished. Let's do one more. Change the size. I think the sparkle would be kind of cute as a yellowish color maybe. So with the selected, go to the ungroup button up here. And let's see. I want to make sure I grab everything because you can see it's not grabbing this piece here and I want all that to be together. So I'm going to select all of that. Now I have that piece on the top and I'm going to click weld. So now it's all together just like that. So now I want to change the color one last time. Go to the color box. I think a yellow color would be kind of neat. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Yellow and black. I don't know. It's not really doing it for me. Maybe, I, and I don't want to do white because it's going to be going on white. But I think I'm going to leave it white just so when I get the chance to look at what colors I have for HTV, I'll know that it's going to cut out separately. So this is great too. So these ones I'm going to be keeping. And all of these for now, I think I'll just save these for next time. So I'm just going to select all of them and I'm going to get rid of it for now. So I'm just going to select all these and then click the X button. And that's going to get rid of all those. I still have them in my upload, so I'm not worried about losing those there. So I'm just going to cut these out. I'll show you what it looks like quick. I'll go to the Make It button. And then it's going to show me what it looks like. Ooh, see, I made a mistake somewhere. Yeah, so somewhere I forgot to weld or attach something together. So I'm going to shrink my screen. I'm always honest with you guys. If I make a mistake on something, I want you guys to learn with me. So let's see, I'm pulling them apart to see where I'm missing it here this one is missing for sure so I'm gonna click the weld button on there you can see it down here in the corner if you're missing some if it doesn't say uh, attached or welded so this one says detached so I know this this one is attached already that one says detached I think we got the one that was giving us troubles nope this one too so this one right here you can tell it doesn't say attach, it doesn't say detach here, so we know that that one's not attached. So we're going to push attach to that one. And then I think it was also this white one. So I believe we got it all. So I'm just double clicking and making sure. Yep, so that should be it. So now I'm going to go to make it, and now it should be much better. Perfect. I think that did it. All right, that's great. So this is how everything is gonna cut out. These are all my different colors that I have on the side here. Um, this is going to be doing two different black ones because it's not fitting on it. I could change this to be a 12 by 24, but I'd rather leave it the way this is. So um, one thing you gotta remember, we are using HTV, the heat transfer vinyl, so we have to mirror this. So always remember that when you're using HTV to mirror your image just means it's going to flip it for you then when you put it on your whatever you're putting it on it's going to be the correct way so what I like to do always is just give myself a little bit of room that I can take my scissors and cut in between these that's up to you if you want to do it or not but that's just how I do it so I'm just going and clicking the mirror button giving myself a little bit of room I've made the mistake too many times to not remember to mirror things so I always click it right away this one, make sure you mirror it, and then this pink one, which doesn't do too much, but the little hearts are different. So there, that's it. I'm going to go to the continue button. I'm going to find which setting I want to use, and I'll show you which one I normally use. So here are my base materials that I use all the time. I use the heat transfer non-cricket, but this is the one that I use, just this heat transfer non-cricket, and then I make sure that I use a really good blade when cutting this out. I purchased a whole bunch of blades. I think there was 36 blades in there and I think it was like, I don't know, under $10, which was crazy, but I love it. So that I, I don't, again, buy the Cricut brand. So I'll, I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in that. And then it's also telling you, make sure your mirror is on, which we did. And then also put the material face, uh, the shiny side down. I forgot that way too many times as well. So I always mirror and shiny side down. So I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to weed it out. And then I'll show you the next step. I'm going to be using my heat press. I absolutely love it. If you don't have one, I would highly recommend it. I had the iron and I had the easy press. 
I hated the easy press. I had to return it and the iron just takes too long. So I will show you my heat press when I get it all set up, but I absolutely love it and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So stay tuned guys, when I'm done cutting this out, I'm gonna show you what it all looks like. All right guys, so here I'm at my heat press. I have it set at 380 for 20 seconds. And here are my files with my little bags. I absolutely love these bags. Once you have your file weeded, you're gonna wanna go to your heat press or your easy press or your iron, whatever you have. If you don't have a heat press, I highly, highly recommend I love this thing. It saves so much time and it just works so much better. So I have some parchment paper on the inside here. Um, I just put that in here so it doesn't burn through. And then the other thing you have to think about when you're using heat press is obviously you don't want to put your uh, zipper on the inside. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure it's on the outside. I already made sure that these um, files are directly in the center. So that's another tip you want to do is make sure it's in the center. So I'm putting this up here so it's off the edge and I'm not going to be ironing the zipper on the top. So I can put three on here for now. So I have them all over the edge with the parchment paper in. Then I'm going to use my protective covering and lay it over this. And then I'm going to press it for the 20 seconds on medium pressure. Okay, so now it's all finished. I'm just gonna pull this up, take off my protective covering, and this is uh, a hot peel, so I'm just going to peel this off while it is still hot. So there, this turned out perfect. So here's the first one. I'm gonna be very careful when you work with the zipper because that's going to be hot too, but I'm just taking my parchment paper out that I can put it in the next one. So there it is. If you wanted to do something on the back, you most definitely could, but I'm just gonna pull these ones off really quick as well. And I'll show you what these look like. If it does come up for whatever reason, you can put it back on there for a couple more seconds. So here's this one. This is the HTV, the glitter HTV. And I love this stuff. I worked with this before and I absolutely love how it turns out on here. So again, it's hot peel. So just like that, and then also the parchment paper on the inside. So I'm going to finish these up, but I absolutely love how they look. Here's some other ones, but first makeup. And then I have Makeup Addiction. So all the ones that I created, I have a whole bunch here. I actually have some that I'm gonna show you quick that I bought from the dollar store. Um, and they are just as cute. I made these before. Um, this one says, but first makeup, and it's purple to match the purple. And then this one has, says, hello gorgeous with the eyes and the eyebrows. I thought that was really cute to do together. So it's the same process. You wanna make sure that you're not heating your zipper and that you wanna make sure you have something protecting on the inside. So I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. I love making these videos. I love hearing from you guys. If you like these videos, let me know if there's something you want me to do. I will make any kind of video you guys want. I'm going to be selling these at my craft fair. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, but I'm really excited to finish this up. So I'm going to finish this and I'll show you what they all look like. So here's how they turned out after I was finished pressing on the HTV. I love how these turned out and how easy and inexpensive they were to create. I'm excited to sell these at my upcoming craft show and at the stores that I am currently selling in. I hope this video tutorial helps you out and you create these yourselves. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. Happy crafting everyone!